Marquis Majestic is a dealer special edition range of best-selling motorhomes based on Eldis models. It allows you to trade up to the massed ranks of motor caravan nobility for a small premium over the factory fresh price. Think of it like buying a title with a few extra baubles thrown in. Now at numbering 14 strong, there's no particular danger in this line of succession going awry anytime soon. And one of the two new models added for 2016 is the 254, a 7.4 meter long four berth with four belted travel seats. But without any further ado, let's get inside and have a quick peerage at what's on offer. So what do we mean by a dealer special edition range? Well, Marquis Leisure takes the factory version and fits a few extra bells and whistles. And it clearly knows what it's doing because this is the best selling dealer special edition range in the UK. If comparing it to the Eldis Encore version on which this van is based, you'll notice that the soft furnishing scheme is different. This one has more of a pattern and will hide the dirt better. The carpets are different too. You don't get the brown ones, you get graphite instead, which Marcus has specified, and they even have a stitched in logo. How cool is that? And just talking about the layout for a minute, this is a parallel lounge that will be very familiar to anyone who's had a touring caravan. And also there are two belted travel seats lurking underneath of the fold-up variety, which means that you have two belts in the front, two belts in the back, and four berths overall. So there's a belt for every berth. Now, one thing that isn't different is the cabinet work. It's the same version as used in Eldis, and I think it's quite attractive with that little relief and those chrome handles. A nice touch indeed. You'll also find some updates in the cab, including ESP with traction control, and you also get cruise control allied to the six-speed manual gearbox on the Peugeot Boxer. Now here it has the 150 bhp engine output, making this van very lively on the road and very rewarding to drive too. Other things of note is a head unit that has a CD slot. So if you're not one of these people that's embraced the massive headlong rush into non-physical media, then this cab is a great place to be for you. There's also USB and Bluetooth connectivity and you also get automatic climate control so you can dial in the numbers and you don't have to use those rotary dials. Another really good touch. And just in case you're not feeling right at home here, you get the Marquis Coronet logo on the top of the stereo, which matches the techno infills on the dashboard around the ventilation. The 254's galley makes a great use of the space and I like the amount of room around it across the gangway of the vehicle. You get dual fuel hobs, a separate oven and grill, microwave oven, and check that out for a really deep functional sink, a really good touch. Two overhead lockers in a different relief to the rest of the overhead lockers in the van and racking in there for crockery. And behind me, a skinny fridge, bang on trend for the 2016 season. It saves space and looks the business too. And if for some reason you may find yourself running out of worktop, then a handy extension is available down here. A transverse island bed offers comfort and convenience in equal measure. Comfort because you can get out of the bed in the middle of the night to do your ablutions without disturbing your partner. And you have to say that's also very convenient. Now there's a couple of other really interesting things about this particular bed. If you pull it out at the bottom here, then it will come towards you. What you can then do is tip this cushion up here and you've extended the bed. How's that? You can leave it in this position for night times and during the day when you want to get round the end of the vehicle to check the ermine surrounds on your windows, then what better way of doing it than that? And if you're wondering where the other two beds are, because I mentioned this is a four berth, there's another two available in the lounge, brought out by putting the slats into the middle of the gangway and rearranging the cushions in time-honoured fashion. And if you're concerned about privacy, then don't worry, Eldis has thought of that. There's a folding concertina blind that pulls all the way across and partitions the front of the van from the back. The 254's offside washroom is of the space-saving variety. It's actually split into two zones. The loo floor actually forms the shower tray. Aside from that, you get a half-length mirror wrapped around the vanity unit, a separate shower attachment, and also a curtain to keep spray at bay. At £53,758 on the road, the Marquis Majestic 254 will be a very noble choice of vehicle in my view. We've looked at all the spec bumps and upgrades that Marquis has put on this vehicle, and there are two that we haven't even mentioned yet. The wind-out canopy awning and the reversing camera fitted to the back of the vehicle that replays from a screen overlaid on the rear view mirror. All very good stuff. So if you're in the market for something that has all these extra bells and whistles, it's a pretty good place to start your search. But if you don't want to spend the £5,100 premium over the Eldis Encore 254, 
then of course that option is available to you. But I would have thought that the engine upgrade plus the other bells and whistles make a fairly compelling case for going the majestic route. Let's look at some other numbers we haven't mentioned yet. The MTPLM is three and a half thousand kilograms, so anyone in the family can drive this van on a standard car license. And the payload is north of 400 kilograms, so plenty of room for your touring kit and caboodle. So all in all, I'd say this is a fairly noble choice of van. For the royal family member who wants to go out and see their subjects and who's upwardly mobile and expects a certain amount of comfort and convenience on the road. So why settle for anything else when you can have one of these, your very own stately home on wheels?